Three Sisters, 1900, a play by the Russian author and playwright Anton Chekhov, was first performed at the Moscow Art Theater in 1901 and is sometimes included in the short list of Chekhov's outstanding plays. Act 1, Olga, the eldest sister, works as a schoolteacher. By the end of the play, she has been promoted to headmistress but does not have much interest in the job. Masha, the middle sister and the family artist, is married to Fyodor Ilyich Kuligin, a schoolteacher. Masha used to be fascinated by him and thought him wise and mature, but after seven years, she begins to see him as a boring person. Irina, the youngest sister, is still full of youthful optimism. She talks about her dream to go to Moscow and meet her true love. The sisters grew up in Moscow and longing for their past life, they all wish to return. Andre is the only brother and the girls admire him greatly. His main love interest is Natalia Ivanovna, or Natasha, who is slightly more common than the Prozorov family. It is the first anniversary of the Prozorov siblings' father's death and is also Irina's name day. For this reason, everyone comes to celebrate with her, including the soldiers and their valiant leader, Vershinin. This encourages an idea of noble idealism. Near the end, Andrei confesses his love to Natasha in private and asks her to marry him. Act 2, about 21 months later, Andre and Natasha have married and had their first child, a boy named Bobik. Natasha is having an affair with Andre's superior, Protopopov. He is never seen on stage. Masha has a secret love interest with Lieutenant Colonel Vershinin and comes home flushed from their night out. Natasha discourages any event planning or parties, so the atmosphere of quiet suggests all happiness is being snuffed out. Tizenbach and Salyani both declare love for Irina. Act 3, Natasha is clearly taking over the household in many ways, as can be seen in Act 3, about a year later. Natasha has made Olga and Irina share a room so that her baby can have a room of his own. There is a destructive fire in the town, causing a critical situation. People are running in and out of the room, passing blankets and clothes to help. Andre has been keeping money for himself to pay off his gambling debts, as well as mortgaging their home and giving too much power to his wife, his sisters are angry with him. Natasha behaves cruelly towards an elderly family retainer, Aunt Vissa, by threatening to kick her out of the house. Olga lets Aunt Vissa live at her teacher's flat and tries to stand up to Natasha, but fails. Masha confesses her romance with Vershinin to her sisters in private. At one point her husband wanders into the room and Masha leaves. Irina feels her life has taken a common turn and forgets much of her past life and education. Disappointed in life, Irina decides to accept Tuzenbach's proposal because it is the realistic thing to do, but she does not love him. Olga encourages this pragmatic choice. Chidutikin, a once fun and eccentric army doctor who dotes on Irina and loved her mother, has experienced an existential crisis. He drunkenly smashes a clock that belonged to the late mother. Andre has a moment of clarity and admits his foolish behavior. He vents self-hatred and begs his sister's forgiveness for putting his trust and power in Natasha's hands. Act 4, the soldiers, who are friends with the family, are about to leave. The moment is tense, Salini has challenged Tuzenbach to a duel, but Tuzenbach is attempting to hide it from Irina. He and Irina have a moment of private romance, during which she confesses that she does not and cannot love him. In this, she likens her heart to a piano whose key has been lost. Just before they leave, the soldiers hear a shot and Tuzenbach is killed. Masha is accepted back into her husband's arms. Olga has accepted the job of headmistress, despite it classifying her as an old maid. She is taking Anne Vissa with her when she moves out. Irina is in grief over Tuzenbach, but wishes to continue her teaching. Her future is uncertain. Natasha remains a power in charge of everything. Andre is stuck in an unhappy marriage, now with two children. The three sisters embrace each other at the end of the play and watch as the soldiers march away to the beat of the marching drums. Chibutikin sings a song to himself and Olga wishes for an end of the confusion all of them feel. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.